Hey everybody, Paul Cram here. I just wanted to take a moment and chat a little bit about uh, my experiences working on After Day Z with Corridor Digital. Uh, a lot of you have have watched the video so far. If you haven't watched it, check it out right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's it, it, don't only watch it just because I'm in it. Uh, although I I consider that to be a perk, <laughs> um, the video is it's it's really well put together. It's pretty it's 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 kind of rocking awesome. So, the the visual effects that they worked in and all that is amazing. Um, I'm gonna adjust this here just so you can hopefully see me better. Um, <laughs> No, the visual effects are awesome. There's there's tons of stuff going on in that video that are so good to see. Um, something that makes me chuckle a little bit, um, and maybe I shouldn't, is when all of those zombies are chasing me and I'm running in the background, uh, they're running behind me. Uh, every time the camera cuts to a different angle, I mean, we were just running as fast as we possibly could. Um, and each each angle, we shot about 13 to 16 times per setup. So there was a ton of running happening. Um, and I kind of brought this upon my <laughs> upon myself, I guess, but um, the director was instructing all of the zombies, all of the extras, um, to not catch up to me when we were running and just to, you know, kind of fake it and stuff. And I had one of those moments when... Um, I think my ego was getting all the better of me and I was like, you know what? I would actually like to see all of these young zombies, 17 year olds try to catch me. Um, yeah, those words actually came out of my mouth, which I, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so basically every take I was running full out as fast as I possibly could. And they were literally trying to catch me, which, uh, was fun for the first few takes, and then after a while, I was like, "Wow, th that was stupid. I, sh I should have just—I should have let them fake, fake do this." Um, but you know, the w there's a scene where we're running kind of up in an embankment, and we did it over and over and over, and I was just running this full out. And one of the one of the zombies, he was young, young. I think he was one of the youngest ones there. I think he might have been not quite 16 yet, but. He was running and he was running and he was running and you know by take I think we did it like by take seven he was literally like laying down on the ground and I felt so bad I felt so bad because he leans over and he just pukes everywhere he's just throwing up which happens sometimes if you're running a lot and you're not really used to it I guess um, I felt really bad for him. I will admit I chuckled a little bit on the inside because I was like, wow, like he didn't catch me and and I'm I'm still ready to do more. So I felt good about it. I also felt bad about it. But yeah, there was so much running going on. I uh, hats off to all of those zombies that that ran and I'm excited I'm excited that they didn't catch me. Because if they had caught me, I, I I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was that was that. It was it was really good working with the guys over at Corridor Digital. Um, if you haven't checked out their channel, check it out. They have tons of amazing videos. Um, I, I I'm blown away by their their special effects that they work with. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll hopefully I'll work with them again someday. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that little tidbit about the zombies and the running and stuff. It, I, I had a really good time working on working on that project. So, all right, guys, I'll be in touch with you. Thanks.